if content is king, conversation must be queen. And really in the age post COVID, the world has changed as you've mentioned. And it's all about trust, I think, because come on, let's face it, anybody can be anything on the internet if they're savvy and they know how it works. But it's going a little bit deeper and it's about that meaningful conversation that content can spark and also then create a legacy. Well, you know, you're absolutely right. And, and we got to figure out how do we get there? And where a lot of businesses and individuals go wrong is they feel, okay, I have something to say and I'm going to plaster that message all over the internet, wherever my customers may be. And that's the wrong approach. What we've seen work really well and what we did focus the case studies on where you actually, you, you know, you find something that you're differentiated with, something that you can talk about that nobody else is else can you really want to lead value what's the what's something that you're delivering to your audience that that is really going to change their life um, they're suffering with some kind of pain point and then don't throw it out all over the internet you actually want to focus on one platform so what we see these initial really successful content entrepreneurs do is they start with just being on youtube or just being a podcaster or just focusing on their email newsletter or just blogging now, it doesn't mean they're gonna not going to go on Twitter and LinkedIn and do all those other things, but they focus on one place to really tell the story well. And I really want to get that out there, Joanne, because uh, most of the people that start this thing, they're like, oh, we're going to, I'll do the TikTok thing and we'll do YouTube and we'll do a Twitch stream and just, we're going to be everywhere. And I'm going to work, you know, 20 hours a day. And I'm like, no, that I, I don't see any case studies that are doing that. You focus on one way, you build that audience, we call it a minimum viable audience, and then you can go ahead and expand that and diversify that into other ways. And, um, you know, if I was going to give some advice, I would say to a lot of people, maybe you should stop creating all the content on every platform you can possibly think of and pull it back a little bit and say, you know, where can I be the best in one platform?